Didn't have a chance to call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Cut and print. Beautiful guys. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be reading off of my notes because this video will go on and on and on. Shout out to Pinterest pin dress because Pinterest be giving you like little tips and things. First of all, do you guys like my hair? Because go follow me on TikTok if you wanna follow me on TikTok because I did make a TikTok on this. So yeah. Nice little bento knot hairstyle for when your braids get old. Mine's is dread, so <clears throat> it actually looks good as the older it gets. Let's get down to the video. Alright, so I recently started my YouTube channel. Um I don't have that many subscribers yet so if you guys are watching this right now make sure you like comment and subscribe or at least subscribe or just leave a little comment now just leave a little comment if i have helped you guys out in any way in this video leave a comment okay just leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment or like like i was saying i tried to put up a video at least once a month and then hopefully i can build some more content and then be able to produce content better and faster but as of right now it's one video a month but we in september so no promises no promises but we might get a little couple of them in september because this is my birthday month stop playing <laughs> it is my birthday month so yeah we going up well i'm going up <laughs> in age but anyways yeah we gonna be vibey. It's gonna be vibey. I got some surprises in stores for you guys. So expect or unexpect another video this month. Um, 2023 life update. Where are we? All right. So we definitely not where we was last year. Grateful for that. When I turned 30, um yeah i mean i didn't really it really hit me but turning 30 was like i had all types of i don't even remember my emotions really when i turned 30 because really i was just worried about my birthday trip we, we had went to uh, mexico for my birthday me and my friends and yeah it was really fun insert some clips <laughs> Cheers! That's my friends, you guys. We had a blast and we gotta do it again. One of the things that they don't tell you when you get in your 30s is much about adulting. Like, you learn as you go with your experience, and I have learned that the I don't want to say hard way and I don't want to say easy way, but definitely the adulting way like literally adulthood smacked me in my face but it's all good because it taught me so it was a lesson and everybody's gonna have to go through it once they get to adulthood or once they reach that stage in life where they're like damn okay this is what adulthood really is adulthood came with losing friends gaining friends adulthood came with for some people, parenthood, adulthood came with bills and responsibility, managing emotions. It comes with a whole lot of stuff that a lot of people don't tell you about. I've transformed. I don't want to call myself an introvert because I'm not an introvert. And I don't want to call myself an extrovert because I'm not an extrovert either. I'm probably like an ambivert or like in the middle but not really because honestly even if i'm cool with you sometimes i just really need my space it's not a bad thing it's just like me processing interaction a little bit slower so that i can answer or respond truthfully or genuinely with my best interest the reason why i say adulthood is something that people don't talk about mostly or even if they talk about it like you never would really understand it until you like go through it it's because 
it's a stage in your life where you feel like <clears throat> okay this is how the world works with everything whether it's paying bills whether it's getting your credit score together whether it's like making sure your kids have food in the house make sure you have time and all of that like yeah that's where you realize like time is of the essence and you don't really know how long you're gonna be living on this earth so you like if you have something that you want to do or something that you need to take care of you really just need to like do do those things make it hard now so it could be easier later something else that they don't tell you in your 30s is about financial literacy thankfully i have some understanding and knowledge of the financial world but not everybody has that so you like literally learn as you get older how to take care of your finances that's if you're able to do that or if you're willing to do that because you can literally go your whole life and not know anything about financial literacy besides the basics it's all about how you see yourself to be able to open up that door i feel like i've had to gain control of that because i've been on my own since moving away for college which is like after high school i was like 18. excuse me i bet to do this from earlier and i don't know why i waited till last minute hold on let me get an energy drink Celsius, sponsor your girl. I went to school for accounting and minor in finance. So that was good for me, but at the time of stage I was in my life, I didn't take it serious as I should, even though I had the knowledge. So now that I'm taking it serious and I had the knowledge, it makes it sense and it's like connecting the dots for me. So it's much easier for me and I'm grateful for that to comprehend the knowledge i'm getting from having a degree in accounting and finance some of the things that i did to increase my financial literacy is like i watch a lot of youtube videos i listen to a lot of podcasts um i also like listen to a lot of audiobooks so make sure you guys are like literally boosting your financial literacy skills by doing these things because in your 30s they will really really help you if even if you're in your 20s right now like i'd say just do it because don't wait until you reach your 30 to get financially literate you should do it before it because it will help you out in the long run wisdom and understanding that's uh, another thing they don't tell you about adulthood um a lot of people like to walk around here and be like oh i know it all i know this i already know this like don't d like they really feel like they just already know everything about everything and that's not a really good way to look at life and i need to, i had to understand that and though i was not one of those people that used to look around like oh i understand this i already know how this goes i already know how that works that wasn't me but i was never like open to knowledge if that makes sense like something that i had no interest in i was not open to knowing about it because i didn't have interest in it but now as I got older, I just be like, damn, I want to know everything about everything and about anything. Like, <laughs> it's just mind blowing because it's like so much information in the world. Like you literally could learn a new thing every single day. And that amazes me. I don't know if that's like kind of nerdy, weird, geeky. I don't know. But yeah, wisdom is something that they don't tell you, but it, it helps you because you're more wise within certain situations and you're able to get through certain situations because life is hard like you're always going to be going through something and it's something is always going to be happening when something else excuse me that energy drink get into me but something is going to always be happening when something else is happening like you're like literally juggling things every single day in life and with wisdom and understanding you can literally help those things can help you guide through life easier so like that's why i decided to like want to learn everything about anything i mean of course i want to stick to what i am passionate about or what i find interesting but i still will want to know about whatever else i don't know i really recommend that as adults or 
teenagers or individuals period we just expand our knowledge even if it's not something that um you're interested in try to learn something about everything a little bit of something about something every day um how many numbers was that adulthood financial literacy and wisdom and understanding three a fourth thing about your 30s that people don't really tell you is purpose finding your purpose in life this is different because I've literally always heard this when I was younger and I never really understood what it meant well I really know what I know what it meant but I didn't know like how 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 could someone find their purpose like literally you just I probably said literally so many times count how many times I said literally I don't know that's something I always heard before but I never really knew like how to find it or like what do you do to find it and you hear it on movies TV shows or even like inspirational messages and I don't even know how to explain how to find this but you really have to do your shadow work like I don't think there's no ways around it some people call it shadow work some people call it spiritual journey some people call it the awakening this is one of my purposes i've always wanted to create content i like creating content i love editing it yeah y'all gonna get these videos and yeah we gonna get into it so yeah welcome to my channel make sure you like comment subscribe and if you, i helped you guys out in any way in this video if i made you nod your head and be like yeah she's spitting or be like oh yeah that shit is right like oh my gosh let me look into this leave a comment down below leave a comment down below yeah finding your purpose in life i mean they tell it to you but you really don't understand what it means like i did i i've heard that find your purpose in life or do what you like to do but you really don't understand it until like you do that work what i've learned from turning 30s or being in my 30s was that life is not waiting for you it literally isn't like this is the only life that you will ever have so you got to make sure you take care of the own this life make sure you do the things you want to do experience the things you want to experience and make sure you take care of your body like don't neglect yourself y'all ever had these cookies these biscuits these things so good mm -hmm. make sure you take care of yourself first and then everything else around you will fall into place you have to have goals set goals in life go on ventures do not just work for a nine to five do something with your life goals and expectations for yourself for others as well like if somebody's not treating you well and you express it to them and they still the thing you just move on you just don't keep that kind of energy around you it's not good for you and it won't do anything for you I've been working on this vision board all 2023 and not working on it like putting it together working on it like the things that's on it I've accomplished everything on it and I'm like not everything on it yet but we're in the fourth quarter right now and we're coming up on the end of the year so yes I'm really excited to share this with you guys but I want you guys to know that in your 30s you have to plan like nothing will work for you if you don't work for it first like there's people that's blessed but they're blessed because i feel like they're putting in the work so you have to put in the work this is a clip of my vision board created that vision board um in the beginning of the year and i've been working on it since there are some things i've already accomplished on it and some things i'm still working on we are in the last quarter right now so i'm like your girl is busting through trying to finish i mean if whatever i don't accomplish this year i'm definitely still working gonna, gonna be working on in the new year and the new year is gonna come with a new vision board i would recommend that everybody should at least do a vision board at least once a year or like 
twice a year monthly however you want to do it make it small make it big because it gives you purpose to work on yourself and accomplishing some goals that you set so i want to express some gratitude to the people in my life the people that um stick with me and have been with me on this journey just my friends my family i just want to express gratitude to you guys because i know sometimes i can be intense i'm distant i don't know like just no i love you guys and i appreciate you guys and yeah kashima is on her journey thank you guys for sticking with me and just like believing in me and appreciating me and helping me in any way like literally i appreciate you guys okay this is my vision board guys well i had seven things i see 2023 vision i literally put this together all the end of the last year into the beginning of this year we are now september 3rd last quarter september month september babies viewers and virgos get into it this is our month whoop whoop birthday celebration stay tuned for the birthday vlog we're gonna be calling it <laughs> okay first of all let's start right here real quick real quick so i want to do a birthday vlog for my birthday week right and i was gonna call it um like you know guys how people be doing the vlogmas or like the october one what do what do they call the october one again um vlogtober they call it vlogtober and then they call it vlogmas so i was gonna do a birthday one right and the name that i came up with was Bloggerate birthday edition tell me how that sounds because i don't know but it can literally go for anything like it could go for a wedding it could go for graduations it could go for baby showers whatever you're celebrating because it's vlogabrate birthday edition comment below on what you think about what i came up with or if you have a better idea on what i should call my birthday trip series let me know but i came up with vlogabrate <laughs> birthday edition because it's gonna be a bomb ass vlog i already know it i already see it i already vision it like you know when you have a vision in mind like it really pays to plan like it really pays to plan because things could go accordingly i don't understand people that don't plan i don't understand people that can't plan and i don't really understand people how people could not plan like planning makes things even much more simple less anxiety less stress just even if you have to plan and then end up going with the flow at least you know you tried to like control the situation like control what you can control and let be what you can't but anyways that's my vision board and on my vision board i had wanted to be in a healthy relationship wanted to have a happy prosperous stuff like it's not something that i am eager to find something that i'm hunting to find or something that i'm like struggling to find or something it's gonna come when it comes i want to be able to be with someone that i can blossom with someone that can teach me things and i can teach them things but someone that's like knowledgeable as well like wants to increase their knowledge and wants to increase their financial means increase their value in life and then find their purpose in life so a healthy bond a healthy relationship where i can grow with that person and build a family together because <laughs> the girl do want a family but i am not rushing that family like i am definitely not rushing it i know there's some people out there that be like oh my gosh i'm 30 and i'm not even married yet i don't have a family i don't have kids what am i doing in my life what should i be doing what am i doing wrong i honestly don't put those pressures on me like yeah i think about it like damn I'm really 30 with no kids or damn I'm not even fucking married yet but I don't ever be like oh my gosh what the hell did I do like to be honest my husband will be will find me when it's time when the time is right that's how I feel and I will have my kids when the time is right I'm 
not in a rush for it and i know it's not waiting for me either but it's gonna happen when it's hap when it happens and i want it to be so seamless when i meet my person I want it to be easy, like, not that everything in life is easy, but I just don't want to force anything. I want everything to be just natural. Next on my list is, um, to become financially free. So this is me increasing my financial literacy and expanding into in different investments and different ventures with my financial expanding my knowledge period all over the board next i have um, body goals body goal is to be sexy as fuck your girl is in the gym insert clips <laughs> but yeah your girl is in the gym. I've been in the gym since um, around May, I think. I signed up in May, and I only went like twice in May, and then I started going hot body in June. And been going ever since. So June, July, August, May, September, no. So I've been going for three months straight. And um, yeah, your girl just be beasting in there, like literally. Another thing I was working at, and then I actually did do, was start my YouTube channel. <laughs> I literally started this. This was on my vision board. Um, this is something I really wanted to do for a long time. Like, I would always record. Like, I have no problem with recording content. It's just the part of posting my content. That's where I was never feeling to do, like, I was never really, didn't really want to do. Like, I would do it on my, like, social media. Like, say, my Snapchat. I would do it on my Instagram. And then I just read a point in my life where I just didn't want to do it on anything. See, I still don't even posts of my snapchat anymore or my instagram anymore but i'm gonna get back into it slowly but shortly but i'm now at that phase where i really don't give up like honestly i just want to record my content and post it now and it's not even posting it for other people it's actually posting it for me because this is something that i've always wanted to do and this is something that i enjoy doing so yeah I hope you guys like the content. The best part about content creating for me is actually editing because editing, I get to put it the way I want, do it the way I want, see it the way I want, like how I envisioned it to go in my head might not be how we come out on camera, but after editing it to my liking, I can make it look the way I want it to look. And I like that part. It's my masterpiece and that's just how I look at it, period, point blank. Um, Another thing that's on my vision board is actually my aspiration to get my real estate license. I've signed up for this program with Aceable Agent. Aceable Agent, sponsor me. Sponsor me, Aceable Agent, sponsor me because I'm mentioning you guys. I've been doing my real estate course with Aceable Asian. It's an app that you can download and you can go through your whole course. Whatever state you're in, you have to select that state. Um, there's different hours for requirements for different states. I'm in Georgia, so it's 75 hours. And after that, you have to um, take a state test. And uh, hopefully in the next couple months, I'm able to show you guys. Well, not hopefully. Yes, your girl is about to get it because we are applying pressure okay the pressure is getting wetter what did she say wetter or wetter i don't even know what the hell she be saying that's basically it like of course um there's little subsections but they all go with each other self-care was one of them and that part in my thing was my shadow work which i have been working on and i really recommend that everybody do their work because it will only bring just much more peace and understanding to yourself like in whatever you're going through and whatever you're doing in life like literally it will make things feel less personal to you whatever happens to you in life and whatever ventures or whatever path you fall on in life like it's all for a reason and doing the shadow work will help you to understand why i do want to open up a business dealing with financial literacy real estate and um fitness all in a bundle highlights of the year okay i can do off the top of my head right now my highlights of the year number one was me going to my job day after day day after day day after day and then realizing like working a nine to five living to pay bills living to make sure i catch up on rent 
living to just like put food in the house and go back to work and do the same thing over and over again and living to just go out and party on the weekends and all of that was not making sense to me and I ended up quitting my job. I left my nice office sit down job because I was so miserable to literally pursue some kind of entrepreneurship and I was like doing deliveries. I used to complain to my friend and friend thank you for listening to me because literally I used to complain to my friend all the time, send her all types of memes and videos and text messages saying how I hate this motherfucking job I just can't wait to quit I really don't feel like I used to work I used to go and never have to crying crying on lunch crying because I felt like I was letting myself down by just waking up going to work going back home waking up going to work going back home like it was just like a never-ending cycle of depression and i understand why people get depression i mean i know it's like something like some people can't control and some people could control and then i know it's something like some people could pull their self out of and some people can't so i really understand that like literally your girl was doing deliveries like left her nine to five to do deliveries and work at amazon and it was during christmas time so it was crazy like it was so stressful on the body at amazon and stressful on my car during delivery so i was like you know what i really have to dig myself out of this hole i need to do something i don't know what i'm gonna do but yeah like I just didn't want to just live in life to just pay bills. And I knew there was more to life than just doing that every day. Going to work for a paycheck, living to party or hang out on the weekends. Like, I just wanted more for myself. And we all just have to do the work. Things worked out in the better. Luckily, my boss had called me back and I went back with a new mindset and of course new requirements. I was able to negotiate a um, deal with my boss where I could feel better working there while pursuing my own passions as well. So I was grateful for that. That was a highlight of my um, year so far. And another highlight was when I went home. Ooh, I finally went home this year. I haven't been home in years. Like I haven't been home since from seven in seven years, like 2015 or 16. And everything was so different. You guys seen that vlog? Like I had a good time. I literally spent most of it with my family, and I really enjoyed it. Like I didn't really wanted to do too much, but to just make sure I enjoyed like the the, the, the island. So like mainly the beaches was something big for me the views was something big for me the food was something big for me the um i don't know just exploring like things places that i used to where i used to hang out where i used to be like visiting my high school was really big for me so yeah that was a really good one um i even got to see my best friend hey bestie <laughs> But um, yeah, I even get to surprise her and chop it up with her while I was there as well. That was good. And yeah, uh, next time I go back, I really would like to meet more, meet up with more of my friends. I was there for a short time. Again, I was on my own journey and I didn't want to like overwhelm myself. So yeah. Um, another highlight for me this year was what, uh, 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 what? Another highlight, as you can see, the girl is still in her home. Another highlight was me battling eviction. If you guys are ever in a predicament where you guys and about to get evicted, just answer. It prolongs the process give you time to come up with the money and also it affecting you physically and financially so tip number one always answer like i know as an adult this is something that people really do not talk about eviction is real and it is scary like i really do not want to be homeless i am grateful and i am blessed to be able to be living in my own space it was a rough road but i'm still here and i'm still standing and for people with eviction stories that don't really talk about them like you really don't eviction is something that people really don't talk about you don't really hear people say like they're ashamed of really saying it 
I'm gonna tell you all right now, baby. My house was on eviction list like twice this year, <laughs> and um, it's hard. Like it's hard. Like just trying to keep up with bills because it's inflation is crazy. And but like people that work minimum wage jobs or people that work just enough, like literally break even jobs, like it's still hard. So what the fuck if like i can't make it you can't make it what the hell is going on in our society we need to learn financial literacy we need to get more financial savvy we need to like make sure we invest in ourselves we need to invest in ourselves in our knowledge in our health just make sure you invest in yourself okay but yes your girl was going through that happily i am great i thought i saw something over there but it was just a shadow from the thing from the selfie stick like i've been told you guys i've been on my own since i moved away from college like i literally didn't even went back home it gets hard because your girl ain't married yet this is my right finger this is my right hand your girl don't, is not married she don't got no kids look if you ain't got no kids and you ain't married bro we getting taxed so hard like i want to have a baby just so i can get taxed less and i can like i don't know have a tax credit at the end of the year like because baby the government ain't ain't for the single and they ain't for the um childless at all but yeah um and my other highlight will be oh my birthday month this is my birthday month so yes we gonna be turning it up yeah 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 so my highlight is gonna be my birthday trip are you guys excited because i am <laughs> Comment below what you guys think my birthday trip is going to be this year. Last year I didn't do much because I ain't really had much to do. And I don't know, I guess all the stuff I was going through and stuff I was planning as well. <sighs> Mama tired. Do I look tired? Because I'm tired. And uh, yeah, comment below what you guys think my birthday trip is going to be. Where it's going to be. What would you guys think I should do where i should go but yeah and we're gonna do a reveal in my next video all you guys will just see the birthday trip reveal in the breath what do i call it again the vlog break the vlog break <laughs> in the vlog break video series vlog break series it's gonna be a series because we celebrate in my birthday month with my birthday events and it's gonna be a series so it's probably gonna be let me see one series two series three series it's gonna be a three series okay i'll make it three series three series okay um vlogger break birthday edition three series all right so comment below what you guys think it will be and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much my life update so yes five takeaways that i will take from this video is make sure you invest in yourself make sure you do your shadow work Make sure you find your purpose in life and make sure you set goals, standards, expectations, and boundaries with people and yourself. And make sure that you live the life you want, live the life you love, and be happy. <laughs> I don't want to just say that. That was so perky and weird. Be happy. <laughs> but no, but for real though. Those five things like literally will get you far in life. And hopefully I'm able to. If I'm missing anything, you could just comment below, below what I'm missing. But yeah. Take care of yourself. Guys, I am so excited. If you guys made it this far through my video, make sure to like. And comment and subscribe for real no for real for real for real for real for real for real I'll just aside for real make sure you like comment and subscribe for real because I'm happy that you guys are here <laughs>
<laughs> that's so weird but yeah you guys like my makeup i did a tiktok if you guys are not following me on tiktok or instagram make sure you go follow me now because i did a cute tiktok and me doing my makeup so how does she look how does she look how does she look boom in my hair i did that too so make sure you guys check that out and that is a life update with me so yes 2023 has been a roller coaster it, and i am so happy and grateful for my journey even when i quit my job even when i freaking had to go through this whole eviction process even when i was going through my eviction process to be honest guys i literally was trying to find me a lawyer everything make sure you guys Please, 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 please get literate in these subjects in whatever, whatever. 2023, I feel like I'm conquering you. I feel like I got a lot done in here. I'm so happy with where I am in life right now. I'm so grateful for where I'm at in life right now. It's not where I want to be, but I'm happy for where I am. Everybody's journey is everybody's journey. Not everybody's on the same path. And we'll get to where we need to be when we need to be there. But I really encourage that everybody do the work. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.